So as you can see in this cow, I'm after finding some stones. I'm just gonna get one out for you there. You can see the little stones there, so that would have been causing her a lot of pain. Right, so I have the cow in our Inspect 4 crate here. Um, she was strapped out this morning, she was lame on the back. So she was sore on this side, so I'm just going to show you now how to apply a shoe, um, which is a wooden block here, using our glue from Hoofcare Direct. So we always put the shoe on the good side, so we, we flatten it off as best we can. Um, when your cartridge comes, it will be like this and we need to put it into the gun. So to put it into the gun, you just press down the silver piece here, pull back and the glue goes in from the side. So it just slips in there into the side. So there's a little screwy top on it. You just twist that, that pops off. There's a little cap on it, which we just pull off. Now for every new cartridge of glue, we just press down on the plunger just a little bit, just to make sure both sides are squirting out evenly, which they are. And we put on our mixing tip. So the mixing tip just pushes on straight like this. And we get the screwy top again, and we just screw in like that. Now, and we're ready to go. So, one tube of glue will typically do eight blocks. So eight of these guys. So we just see, it'll do either left or right. So this is the way we need to go with this one. So we're all set up here now, ready to go. Now, one thing I would advise is to heat the block and heat the foot. So we can use something like this, just a blowtorch to heat the block. And we just heat the full as well. If you had a heat gun, it will do the same job. So one tube of glue will get you eight blocks. So we just apply the glue like this. Just go round and round. Like so. So that's enough there now for this one. And we press on the block. So when we press on the block, we don't press it on really hard that we squirt out all of the glue, but we give it a gentle enough press. Uh, another thing to make sure is that we don't sit the block too far forward on her foot. And like that now will just be perfect. And we have to make sure that there's no gaps as well. So we just press on there very gently. While we're waiting for the glue to dry here properly, it's already gone hard on the outside, but it just has to dry on the inside as well. While we're waiting for that to dry, we can um, look at her other three feet while she's up in the Inspect 4 crate. So I'm just going to have a look at the other three. This one doesn't look too great either. So I'm ready to put another block on a cow and whether you're ready to do it, whether it's five minutes later or a month or two later, all you do is unscrew the top, pull it off, pull out the mixing tip, the glue will have gone rock hard in this from the last time and it would have sealed the cartridge. So we get a fresh one and we just pop it on, screw it down again and now we're ready to put on our next shoe. So the next shoe I'm going to put on is a TP block. Um, it's slightly less in depth than the timber block. Um, you can see here, the beauty with this one is that um, it won't wear away down, so the timber block will wear away down with time as the cow is walking, whereas the TP one is made out of hard rubber and that won't wear down when the cow is walking. So we do the same with the TP block, uh, we heat the, the block again and we heat the foot.
we just press it in again for a couple of seconds. So I'm just going to put a bandage on this girl here. So I've just pushed on the paste here and I'm going to wrap it up. If anyone out there is interested in putting on their own glue shoes, um, we have an eight pack for sale online. I'll just show you here now. So in the eight pack, you get eight mixing tips, you get eight blocks, and you get one tube of glue. Now, the reason why it's eight is because the amount of shoes out of one cartridge is typically eight. Um, so. You get all this in your eight pack. Now, if you haven't used this type of glue before or you haven't used these shoes, you will need to buy a gun and that's a one off. So this is the gun here. Um, I have a, the one I was using there earlier on for the lame cow. So here's the gun. It's um, because it's a double sided cartridge, you need the gun because it, it, that's what's used to force out the, the, the glue on both sides and to get to mix going through the mixing tip. So. That is just the standard eight pack. Um, there are different types of shoes as well available. So these are the timber blocks. One of my favorite, they're cheap and cheerful. You don't need lefts and rights because you can just flip it this way or that way and you're not left with a bunch of lefts or rights. Um, so over here then are different kinds of shoes that we have also on our shop. So these are called TP blocks. These are the orange ones. They're quite hard. Um, the beauty with these ones is that they don't wear away down. So the timber blocks will wear away down with time. These ones won't wear away down at all. Now they don't have as much depth all right, as the, the timber blocks. And they are that little bit more expensive, but not much more. There's a blue version of this as well. Um, they're a lot more flexible. Um, another option to go for to glue on shoes are these guys. These are called the cow slips. Um, so then you have lefts and you have rights like that and you get your little um, your little bottle of solution and your packet of powder. You put in the powder into the, the tip of the shoe and your liquid. You mix it all together um, and that's how the glue sets for these guys. Now as I do mention you do need lefts and rights then as well. I'll just put that back into the box. And they're, they're sold in a box of 10. So another thing that you will need for applying the, the timber blocks or the even the TP blocks as well um, is a bit of heat. So this is what I have here in the farm. I just have one of these little guys and a lighter. Otherwise, I robbed this from the engineering shed over. I find this very useful as well because you don't need um, any lighter to get this one going. So that's about all... I can show you on what's available on our shop to to apply a block. Um, so if you have any questions, just drop me um, a text. Thank you. Bye.